Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the interesting chess games that I played off late and now this is very special to me as well because my average centipon loss here was 3. Now that is as low as I have ever seen. Uh, probably I have not even seen anyone still now less than that. If you have scored less than that, please do let me know. Put on the uh, game link in the description below uh, in the comments so that I can just check that out. Now, before I start with this amazing game, I would request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the fun videos, interesting and instructive videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So let's begin now with the game. I was playing as white. It was rapid, 10 plus 5. I started off with d4, open plays d5, bishop on f4, the London system comes in whenever I'm playing the rapid, uh, bishop onto f5 by my opponent, I play uh, c3, open plays e6 there, and I respond with e3. Now, these are standard moves, you just want to create a solid pyramid in the center, develop your bishop before creating that, so that the bishop is out of this pawn chain. And then the ideas involved getting your knight onto f3, bishop onto d3, getting your queen onto c2, connecting both the knights, uh, sorry, connecting both the knights here after placing your knight onto d2. And then you can proceed with the pawn storm on both sides, on the king side, castle, queen side, and you will be good to win the game. Most likely that's how the London system works. Here my opponent plays a knight f6. I went with knight f3 and then pawn to c5 by my, by my opponent and I took the knight. Now that was the best move and I did take. My idea was simple that I'll be just giving follow up checks after uh, since the knight is not there it cannot come in between. The bishop is also out so it cannot stop the checks. So I'll try and pressurize uh, from the queen side by developing my queen and the bishop hitting the king. So I took on the knight first. Open takes back with the rook, and now uh, bishop comes on F, uh, b5. That's a check. My opponent saves with the knight, which gives me advantage that I can go ahead with knight onto e5, which is a controlling square in the London, which is again pressurizing the knight further. Now two pieces are attacking it, and there's only queen saving it. And if my opponent loses the queen, he loses everything probably in the game to begin with in such a short span. That's why already a rate uh, evaluation of plus 5.4 by the engine open tries to kick my bishop away and i simply uh, take on the knight with the bishop that's the check my opponent uh, denies to of course give the queen just making sure that he lives on a, uh, to fight on another day so king on to e7 and then i guess get my bishop backwards on a4 opponent pushes for pawn on to b5 and that's even worse because here comes a check, which is a nasty folk. Uh, so that's why e5 is such a good square to acquire in the London uh, with your knight. It can cause some serious threats eventually. And here opponent saves the king and loses the queen, takes back. And I take back the pawn first so that my bishop is hanging, yes. But I, I when I take the pawn, uh, I'll give a check as well. So opponent does take back here which allows me to give another check with the queen so queen d4 pushing my opponent behind and then bishop comes back on to b3 here my opponent plays f6 uh, and i went ahead with a4 trying to open up the situation from here as well so that my rook also gets into the attack uh, opponent plays bishop c5 hitting the queen and i take on the pawn first and I'm, I'm, i know my queen is hanging but first of all you deal with the check first so opponent does take back and then I give a check. My opponent has to go behind. I have taken control of the rank. Opponent goes back and I take on the bishop with my queen. Opponent takes the rook, but then a check comes in. Opponent has to move. And then knight a3 hitting the pawn. That would be a check as well. And I have bishop there. I can castle, get my rook also into the attack and checkmate quickly. It's mate in eight from there actually. Opponent gets a rook onto b8. I take on the pawn first with the knight, which is a check as well, which forces my opponent to take on the rook, uh, knight. There's no other legal move right now. King cannot move anywhere. It's stuck uh, because queen is controlling everything and knight is giving a check. So knight is uh, has to be taken. There's no other option. 
opponent does take and after that i take with the queen opponent tries to attack my queen with the rook i give a check from a5 opponent slides and then i castle opponent goes to c8 with uh, the king i give a check here opponent runs and then i block this passage with my bishop letting him to take the pawn doesn't matter because once i reach over there I, it's a quick checkmate happening so opponent tries pushing the king ahead and that's the check again which he has to move away i trade open moves and that's checkmate so it was all simple but the most critical part was in the opening itself when we i went in with knight to e5 it was all over from there there's nothing which you can do from that situation the best move as for the computer as well is to place your queen on to uh, b6 which will not change the situation but can only worsen if my queen as, as well comes on to a4 in, in fact i can still take here i, I don't mind taking uh, yes my piece would be hanging i can save as well i'm okay losing the pawn because i can come with the knight and there's no wrong in this situation as well i hope you like the video do let me know your feedback and if you have any time seen centi pawn loss of less than three i'm not joking i have seen magnus Carl carlson versus david navara which i had covered uh, uh that is the karokan defense where david navara played and magnus couldn't defeat him both the grandmasters had centi pawn loss of seven and eight i'm not saying this was an amazing game that's a grandmaster level game but then yes centi pawn loss i haven't seen less than three so please do show me if you have. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.